it is important that we look at what is defining safeguarding. Before we can examine the issues that surround the protection of vulnerable adults, we must first establish what is a vulnerable adult. The law requires that safeguarding adults is everyone's business. The Care Act 2014 ensures that safeguarding vulnerable adults means protecting a person's right to live in safety, free from abuse and neglect. In British law, a vulnerable adult is defined as being aged 18 years old or over and at risk of abuse or neglect because of their needs and or support. A vulnerable adult then, by definition, is far less able to protect itself. Without adequate protection, an adult with needs is at risk of harm, mistreatment, exploitation or neglect from others. This makes the adult vulnerable. Adults with mental disabilities, mature age or illnesses do not understand their vulnerability, which is one of the main reasons they are at even greater risk of mistreatment or harm. The law states that it is the responsibility or duty of care of staff and volunteers in public, voluntary and private organisations to protect the vulnerable adults for which they are responsible. In addition, such staff must ensure that there is a minimum risk of harm and exposure to the perpetrators of harm for all vulnerable adults. In this country, every adult has a right to a life free of fear, harm and neglect, not to be forced to do anything against their will, to be protected, have their choices respected, to be listened to and have a say in their care. It is clear, therefore, that due to their vulnerability, vulnerable adults need the protection of adults who can assist them in living a life free of harm and abuse. Protection is a method of guarding against danger or harm to ensure that vulnerable adults are safe and free from the risk of significant harm. Significant harm is defined as the ill treatment leading to impairment of health or development. We will explore the concept of significant harm in greater detail a little later.